Welcome to the introduction to machine learning. Machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence that mimics the learning process of humans. The idea here is to feed in features and the machine would make up its own rules to define them. The same way that, for example, kids are shown different fruits and in time they are able to differentiate between them. But with machine learning, we can't just show images. We are talking about numbers. So when we show the machine the images or any other information, it has to be in numbers. This part of the process is known as feature extraction. So the machine learning process consists of two steps, training and testing. In the training part, we generalize the rules and output a model. There are four steps involved here. Data collection, feature extraction, training or rules generation, and output model. In the testing part, we use the generated model to get predictions on the new data, which was not used in training. So if we were to take the example of fruits, let's say apple and banana, then we would collect lots of images of bananas and lots of images of apples. Now we will apply some techniques on these images to extract the important features. Features such as edges, corners, shapes, etc. These will be vectors of numbers that will differentiate the images from each other. Note that this is done before the actual training. So this is known as manual feature extraction. Once the features are in numbers, we can send them to the machine learning algorithm. So it can start learning. During the learning, the machine tries to find the rules that differentiate these features. Once the model is generated, it will be able to predict a new image of a banana or an apple. Let's break this down further into numbers to get a better understanding. Let's say I have these two table of numbers. Now, when I have a new table like this, I want to know which table is it closer to. In this case, it's simple because we can tell the number 3 is closer to number 2 rather than number 9. But what if the numbers were like this? And my new table is like this. Now, which table is it closer to and by how much? This is no easy task. So these tables are basically features and the machine learning algorithm basically finds the rules to journalize these features. This way, when a new image is shown, it can compare the old features with the new features using the rules that it had generated and tell if it's closer to an apple or a banana. Now there are other cases where we do not need to perform feature extraction because the data itself is the features. Let's say we wanted to create a model which estimates the salary of a person based on their age, years of experience, job type and gender. So here the data is features, although not all of them are in numbers, so we will have to convert it into numbers. For example, we can convert the gender to 0 and 1, where male is 0 and female is 1. The same way we can convert job type to numbers as well given that we have a fixed number of jobs. Now that we understand the basics of machine learning, let's look at its different types. So we have three main types, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement. Supervised learning is where we are labeling our data. This means that if we are creating a model of cats and dogs, then we will label each of these images with either cat or dog. So the machine knows which images are of cats and which images are of dogs. Unsupervised learning is where the data is not labeled. So in this case, we feed in the images of cats and dogs and the machine will have to separate them by its own using their similarities. Reinforcement learning is where the machine learns the best policy based on a reward and penalty system. Every time it makes a good move, it is rewarded and every time it makes a wrong move, it is penalized. For example, if we look at a self-driving car, then we would penalize every time the car crashes and reward every time it takes a correct turn. This way, over time, it would learn how to drive. There are many algorithms within these categories. In supervised learning, we have 
methods such as linear regression, logistic regression, support vector machines, KNN, and even neural networks or deep networks fall in this category. Then we have unsupervised. In unsupervised, we have K-means, C-means, hierarchical cluster analysis, and a priori. And in reinforcement, we have Q-learning and SARSA. These are some of the examples of different algorithms that we have within each categories. The supervised learning is the most common type of learning method and it can be further categorized into classification or regression problems. Classification is when we have fixed number of classes and the output is one of these classes. For example, cat, dog, lion, these are three different classes. And if I show a new image to the machine, it will output it as one of these classes. Regression is where we have a continuous value. For example, the salary of a person based on age, job type, gender, etc. The output here is a continuous number like 50,000 per year. With unsupervised learning, we have clustering and association problems. Clustering is similar to classification where you have a finite number of classes, but with the clustering, the data is not labeled. This means that if we were to categorize apple, bananas, and mangoes, then in classification, we will label each of these, and in clustering, the machine will find the patterns. Here, the machine will determine by itself that all the apples belong to cluster 1, all the bananas to cluster 2, and all the mangoes to cluster number 3. It might also cluster them based on their colors. So cluster 1 would be containing apples and cluster 2 would contain mangoes and bananas because their colors are similar. In association, we find rules that link different variables. For example, if a person is buying a pancake mix, they are also likely to buy maple and chocolate syrup. So going back to our table, we can assign each of these algorithms to a category. So in summary, machine learning is a method that mimics the learning process of humans, where we feed in the features and the machine would make up its own rules to define them. We have three main categories, supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement. Supervised is where we label the data, unsupervised where the data is not labeled, and reinforcement is based on a reward system. Within supervised, we have classification and regression problems, and with unsupervised, we have clustering and association problems. In the upcoming videos, we will look at the theory behind each of these algorithms and write the code to implement them using different libraries. So stay tuned for that, and if you like the video, then give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.